Hi, I'm Mark Coniglio, creator of Isadora. This is tutorial 10, part two. In the first part of tutorial 10, we began to learn how to use the control panel and we built up a patch. So you should make sure and do the first part and have that file ready because we are gonna pick up where we left off. So, so far, we had three buttons to turn the bypass inputs of three effects in our patch on and off. I actually want you to set this up right now so that motion and invert are dark and dots is lighter, meaning that it's up. Um, remember, the shortcut to save you having to toggle back and forth between the edit mode and the mode where you're using the controls is to hold down the option key. Uh, that way you can use the controls when you're still in edit mode. So I've set that up now. We can see there's my hand. And what I want to do now is add another kind of control called a slider. If I click here on the toolbox and bring that out and deposit it. Now, this slider is going up and down, but I really want this one to go from left to right. So I can click here in the bottom right where you see that little handle and drag it so that I'll make this now a more horizontal control so that as I slide from left to right, I'm going to get a continuous controller that I can use anywhere inside the patch. And what I'm going to hook this one up to is the dot size. So I click in the number four, click here on dot size, and we see that we have here the number four on the tab to the left of the words dot size showing that we've connected the two. So again, if we alt click on the slider, now you can see that using this slider, I'm able to adjust the size of the dots. This might be more clear if I, for this moment, go up to the controls menu, say disable edit mode. Now I can take my left hand here and hold it up and you can really see the size of the dots changing, right? So this can be used for any number of uses in terms of what you're controlling, any kind of continuous control input. Now I'm going to go to the controls menu again and say enable edit mode so we can make some further edits. Um, another thing that you might like to control is the brightness of the projector. So I'm going to add one more slider. In fact, I'm just going to copy and paste the one that I have here. And I'm going to collect, click on number five and connect that to intensity. Now, it's getting a little confusing here because I don't exactly know maybe which slider is doing what. In this instance, what you probably want to do is bring in a comment actor. Now notice that this actor has no number in the top right hand corner. It actually doesn't control anything. It's just so that you can make some nice labels for your patch and understand what's going on. If I double click that one, you'll see here this field which says comment. So I'm going to put on this brightness because this is going to control the brightness of the projector output. So I say OK. So now I've got a nice label there next to this slider. And if I option click on that, actually, let's make it really obvious. First, option click on invert so that it's mostly white. Now, if I click on the slider label brightness, you can see that I can fade the image in and out. Okay. Now, there's a number of different kinds of controls here, all of which have their own particular features. And I really encourage you to take a look in the manual. But one important one that I want to show you is called the bin picker. And that one I'm going to give an example of. To do that, I need to go back to the actors because actually I need to add two more uh, actors into this patch. So I'm going to go into the controls menu and say hide controls because we don't want to see them anymore. We just want to work with the actors. I'm going to bring in a movie player and a projector. And you can see here that if I go to the Windows menu and say Show Media, I've already brought in 16 different movies to play around with here. I did that before. I imported those clips. So now um, this is ready to go, actually. So we want to go back now to work with the controls. So I say Show Controls. And again, we want to see the split so we can see the actors at the same time. Now I want you to click on the module called Bin Picker. This one's a little bit mysterious because when you start off, it comes up as a gray square. So you have to actually do something to it to tell it how to configure it so that it's going to do what you want it to do. So I'm going to double click that bin picker and you're going to see there's quite a few options here. But the key thing that we're going to work with is media type, 
video, which is what we want. But the trick here is to check the box that says display all of selected type. When you do that, it means that it's going to show you in this uh, control every video clip that's in the entire media window. Now, to make that clear, I'm going to say OK so we can take a look. And now, if I resize this, you're going to see here that there's an actual little thumbnail and the text that has the name of the clip, or at least as much as you can see inside of that thumbnail, listed there. So what you can do with this control that makes it quite powerful, I'm going to click on the number 6, drag my mouse to the movie input of the movie player, and I'm going to let go. And again, you see that little 6 appear as a tab to the left of the movie input. Now, if I Alt-click on any of those clips, I can instantly jump from one clip to the next, easily picking them from this list. So this is a very powerful feature that allows you to have a nice thing in your control panel. If you need to call up cl clips quickly or interactively just by doing it as a human being, this is one way in which you can do it. Now I'm going to double click the bin picker again, but take a look. It doesn't have to be just video. You can also choose audio, MIDI files, or pictures by changing the media type here. So if you wanted to, for instance, have this set to have a list of pictures that are in the media window and that's connected to a picture player, you could use the bin picker in the same way. So there's a number of adjustments you can make here. For instance, if you set the item width, let's say, to 48, then you can make the thumbnails bigger. If you take a look here where my cursor is pointing just now, you'll see that as I type 64, that now the actual size of the thumbnails has gotten bigger. So you can make bigger or smaller thumbnails as you like. I'm also going to set the font size to 9 so that we can see more of the name. So now if I do that, you can see that I've got these quite large thumbnails that I can click on as we did before. Again, I encourage you to look at the manual to look at the other controls. I mean, basically, they're all either continuous controllers or ways of selecting from a list of items. And uh, there's several that you can uh, take a look at. But the final thing that I want to point out is that if I now go to the controls menu and say hide actor control split, so we're only seeing the controls, and I say disable edit mode, now I have my little control panel. So now we're seeing only the controls. If I turn the brightness up, remember that was controlling the live feed, right? There's my hand. Yeah, we also see the movie at the same time. So I can sit here and I can click on different movies that I'm choosing from. I can use the buttons to turn the bypass feature of the various effects on and off. And I've got the other slider that's allowing me to control the dot size inside of the dots actor. So let's say that this is all of the control that we need. I'm going to save this patch. So I'm just going to call this test, or no, I'm going to call it tutorial 10. Save it to the desktop. Notice that if I save the patch with the control panel active, and I then go and double click that patch again, that's where it's going to come up. It comes up with the control panel. And the big advantage of this is if you're creating a show where you're working with someone who has to operate uh, the show for you, and you don't want them to see or have access to this, which is the actors, that you don't want them to be able to mess around with the programming that you've done, then you create a control panel, give them some buttons to be able to control the show, and that's what they're going to see when they open the patch.